And uh, I, I know you're a fan of this name. I'm yes. quite a fan of this name as yes. well. But uh, I, I see that big cheeky grin on you, so I will let you introduce the first player. Uh, the player, of course, coming out for Team IBM will be none other than Thud Bang. <laughs> Personally, every time I was plugging in a keyboard, I got that sort of cheer. That would that make me play a lot better on ladder, or just make me leave the game and plug it in again and <laughs> cheer them on right there. Me. Thud Bang from Team IBM has really been one of the star-studded players uh, for Team IBM. Has won so many games in so many key positions, and I mean. His matchup that he's going to be up against is Zerg versus Zerg, which he's been performing brilliantly in. Yeah, absolutely. And then just looking at his little uh, bio there, checking it out. Um, he used to play Protoss, did switch to Zerg. He said he switched to Zerg because Zergs were complaining about Protoss. So uh, I'm really curious to see how he's able to play it out in this game. Yeah. And uh, he also loves writing software, something I've tried to do. <laughs> and I. I respect him for being able to continue doing that. I would love that. to see your Code Husky stuff. Now, there's Team IBM. Hello, Team IBM. Off to the side. Cheering on Thud Bang. Now, you know, one thing that I love so much that you know, we got the chance to see in Thud Bang's profile is that he loves writing code and bringing that idea to a reality. And that's a really standard thing that you end up seeing from a lot of just generally good players, is they like that idea of forming a strategy and slowly working it again and again and again, yes. and actually working on the big coder word, implementation. Implementation. Implementation, implementing a strategy, because it's one thing to think of it, it's another thing to make it happen all together. And if you watch a lot of Thud Bang's game, you see that meticulous play in his style, where it's very refined, has a lot of repetition in the games throughout the season. All right, so uh, that's Thud Bang, and our next player, is there a fancy way to say it, or is it just USKC? It's USKC, playing for Team Epic. And uh, I, I couldn't help but peek at his profile here a little bit. He has been playing an insane amount of StarCraft. He has 3,000 wins uh, overall on his account. And Holy this crap. season already, keep in mind, it was just reset. He has 140 games in Master League already. So he is, I would assume, in top shape because he's been playing quite a bit. Wow. And uh, you can look at his bio right there. Yeah, I mean, I love that. I'm a macro player at heart. That is why I ended up choosing SC2. And you know, the, the one thing that we've seen throughout the, uh, this, the HGL for USKC is his love for Nidus worm play. Oh yes. His Nidus network play is absolutely incredible using that big macro style to play defensively until he's ready to strike and then just go, go, going for it, which I really think is a, um, gonna probably throw the opponents off a little bit at the very least, but yeah, I, I think definitely think nice worms are a little underutilized uh -huh. in StarCraft 2 as a whole. They can be very cost effective if used correctly. The one thing you have to watch out for on the nice worm is that each time you make one of those, it does cost you money. It's not super cheap like an Overlord is once you have the research there. And in ZBZ, you don't see them that much because Zerglings yeah. are able to lock that down quite quickly because they tend to be pretty fast. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I, I would love to see a nice worm in a ZBZ. That yeah, would... you know, it's it's become increasingly popular with these uh, players who end up in this mode where they're building a few too many roaches, um, they're, they're feeling like they over defended and then to immediately snap into offense against a defensive player. And of course, one thing to note about all the players in the After Hours Gaming League, look at this, avid gamers throughout. We've been yes. seeing that consistently pop up. I mean, VDZ with the wrestling, the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, that sort of competition, and then just online competitive from USKC as well. And also he does love snowboarding. Something I'm too afraid to try because I hear the first like 10 times you just walk away a big bruised mess. So uh, he definitely likes the outdoors as well. And uh, we did mention that the map is going to be Antigua Shipyard. Yeah. Which uh, I, I remember at an MLG I cast a series on this map or one of the games on this map between I think it was like Spanishiwa and the little uh -huh. one. And it makes me hope that we can just recreate that magic of ZBZ on this map. So uh, it, it can definitely play out very interestingly. And I think that uh, yeah, the player is going to be joining up here right now. Yeah, and I think Antigua Shipyard kind of creates these very interesting dynamics in, in uh, Antigua creates interesting dynamics in the Zerg versus Zerg matchup right. because you can take kind of an easy third. Mm -hmm. It's not incredibly easy, but that ramp at the very least tempts you to do that. And this is something I think Thud Bang is definitely going to be doing an excellent job of. We've seen his Baneling, Zergling aggression shut down a lot of third bases and let him 
be able to take a third of his own. Yeah, and I, I love this map for that exact reason. Out of all the maps out there, your third base is one of the easiest to defend because it's a base in such that you can defend your natural and your third by leaving your army in one place. It kind of reminds me, uh, for Zerg players, similar to the Shattered Temple, where if you get that high yield expansion, you can relatively defend that and your third base by leaving your units in one place. Now, in ZBZ, if there's any matchup that involves a Zerg that is going to end quite quickly, it could be this matchup. That's also why I love this matchup, is because from start to finish, um, after that first drone is made, there are so many builds that are high octane and can end mm -hmm. at any time. So, looks like game number four has just booted up. Time to stop wondering and find out what's going to happen in this critical game number four. Are you ready? Yeah. Good coordination. Looks like we have spawned on the map in the left position. His team currently up two to one.